Yo, what is up guys, Legendary Cole here, and today I'm bringing you guys the fastest exotic engram farm in Destiny right now. I've been using this for the past few days so I can stock up exotics for Rise of Iron. It probably won't give you new stuff, but it will give you uh, probably higher light stuff. So what we want to do is go to Patrol the Cosmodrome, and while we're going, you can also get legendaries, that's why it's titled Fastest Exotic and Legendary Farm, because I get a lot of legendaries. So I usually pop my three of coins when I'm flying in. And by the way, guys, I was farming Imago Loop, and look at the roll I got. It's Rangefinder, Snapshot, and uh, Firefly. I, I think it's a god roll, in my opinion. But you guys can use any sniper, preferably Black Spindle, because it just makes it really, really fast. Use a sword, because so, it just helps you jump around. But if you're not a hunter, you probably don't need a sword. But still use it, because it just makes it a lot easier. And if you're a hunter, you also need triple jump. Now... We're just going to fly in. Take us a minute to fly in. Hashtag 30 FPS. Okay, well, I guess the FPS didn't matter. So what you want to do is get on your ghost. And just, I mean, not get on your ghost. Get on your sparrow and follow where I'm going. Uh, it's not that fast. Well, it's fast, but it's not it's not fast enough to where it's uh, so fast that um, it it's like a super low chance of getting exotic. Because as you guys know... Um, if you kill, um, what's it called? I forget what they're called. The people that drop, like, uh, the higher-ups, I forget what they're called. If they drop, like, the yellow enemies, or, like, the bosses, if you, uh, kill them within five minutes of each other, uh, it lowers the chance by, like, a lot of getting exotic. So this one's, like, this far enough. I think it's around, like, four minutes to, like, do it and all and go to orbit. So what I do is I do, like, a, I do, like, a, um, a, uh, what's it called? I pick up spin metal and open some chests on the way there just to add a little bit of time, kill a few enemies, like mess around a little bit. But you guys don't have to do that because it still works just the same. And uh, it will be using a wall breach. I know you guys are thinking, well they got rid of all the sparrow wall breaches. It's actually a different wall breach that you don't need your sparrow for. I thought it was pretty cool. I saw it from a different video. I'm not sure who originally made it. Yeah, wait into here, but I added a little twist of my own to make it super fast. But as you can see, my Mago Loop, I, I love it so much. It's like it's like a little fate bringer. Okay, but what you guys want to do, it's in, you gotta pay attention because I pass it all the time and I'm not paying attention. Uh, you want to see these lights right here, these guys. You'll see three lights. It's really close to the uh, doorway over here. The doorway's over here. And what you want to do is you want to jump and crouch or slide. I usually slide, but it won't let me slide. So I, I kind of like shimmied my way through with the crouch, but usually you have to slide. And you'll be into this room, and you want to try and jump on this little rock and get through here by sliding, but it wouldn't let me slide here, so... Yeah, I did jump off and try again. If it doesn't let you slide, just walk off and try again. And then like this. First, you want to jump to here. Same for all classes, guys. And you want to jump up to here. And then next, jump up to here. Pretty easy jumps. This, the whole thing's pretty easy jumps, except for the last one. But the last one's really easy to master. And you want to jump down here... And jump up to like the wall here just so you can load King's Watch or else it won't load. There you go, you loaded King's Watch. You don't need to throw a smoke. I just jumped up on this wall and jump right back. It's super easy. Really easy. You just gotta remember that part because I think, I don't know if it loads any other time, but whatever. And you wanna come to here. You'll see that thing load in a few times so you know kind of where to go. You don't have to jump on that wall, but you can. And you don't, also don't have to make it all the way there because it's just a path, but you just gotta. It, you, you guys saw where I went. It's just hard to see that building. And you can jump to here. What you guys want to do from here is find... Oh, yeah, I'm popping a heavy sense because I didn't have um, a heavy ammo. You don't need one, like I said, if you're like a titan or a warlock, but a sword. So you don't really need to waste heavy ammo sense. And what you want to do is you want to come to this little bump here. This little thing. I think I messed up the first jump. Yeah, mess it up a little bit. You want to run on this bar and not do that. Because you don't want to slip off the bar. And there's, it's really easy to tell where you're going after you get it down. And get on this bar. And you want to look for this little the corner and just land perfectly on it. It's a pretty, it's actually like a huge ledge, so it's not that hard to make. And usually I get out my sword right here just to see. And you want to run as fast as you can to that giant broken part. You can see it pretty well. You'll start to turn back, but you just barely jump in. That was a kind of bad one. Sometimes you can land directly in front of it and you have like four seconds left. It's really, really nice. And you're going to be like, oh, there's no enemies in here. What the heck? You want to run down this hallway. 
and I think about here, yeah, he spawns in the Elder Captain, and you just want to kill him. We actually found about the Elder Captain way before he came out in one of the DLCs, but... And then right there, that fast, you also get tons of, like, the little things that give you Glimmer, 200 Glimmer from killing him. And he drops legendaries all the time, at least for me, I don't know if it's gonna be the same, it's probably gonna be the same for you guys, but it's probably the same drops. He drops legendaries, like, every other time for me, it seems like. I don't know if I was having a good day or something, but he dropped a lot. So, um, if you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like, uh, share with your friends, subscribe to see more Destiny videos. I'm gonna be making lots of Destiny videos when Rise of Iron comes out. Maybe not uploading every day, because as you guys know, school is starting back up, and, uh, it's pretty, uh, it kind of sucks, kind of awesome to go back and see your friends, but if you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like, I'll see you guys next time.